Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. And just like I did with previous movies, this is sort of a uh, series of topics on the Marvel, Captain Marvel movie, I should say, from Disney slash Marvel. This part, we're going to be talking about the Entertainment Weekly uh, pictures that were released and then my thoughts on everything and then we'll do a second video with like a trailer impression I guess and a final one with a movie review when that movie hits theaters next year 2019 but yeah Entertainment Weekly got the exclusive they released the pictures and uh, let's let's uh, let's talk about them let's uh, dissect a little bit about uh, the Captain Marvel movie. Now this movie is a very important link for two reasons. One, you're tying up uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe history by setting it up in the 90s. You're tying up the older stuff, uh, you know, uh, from the Soviet uh, Cold War era and the World War II stuff with Captain America and now with the modern heroes after two, uh, 2008 with Iron Man, you're missing a huge chunk of information in the 90s. And and uh, Carol fills that perfectly with her story. I like that aspect very much. I am a sucker for uh, continuity and uh, all, uh, you know, bridging the gap between movies and stories and all that stuff. I love it. And the second aspect, of course, is, uh, well, actually, let's say second out of three aspects. Uh, the second one is the fact that this is a heavy cosmic movie and it fills that cosmic puzzle. It, it fits that puzzle with the character, uh, you know, after the success of Guardians, it has been proven that people really do like the cosmic side of things. I am a huge cosmic fanboy. I think Marvel Cosmic is the best uh, side of the brand, in my honest opinion, when it comes to the comic books and now with the movies as well. You can tell so many rich, awesome stories with cosmic characters, especially with the Guardians, with uh, now that you've got Fantastic Four, uh, with the alien races, and of course with Captain Marvel, etc., etc. And the third aspect that I just completely made up now, she fills in that gap for the Avengers follow-up after the events of Infinity War. She's obviously she's obviously going to be a powerhouse when it comes to uh, cinematic power levels. Redundant, I know. But uh, after Infinity War, I was a tiny little bit disappointed that the geek fanboy in me was disappointed at the power levels. Look, I get it. I'm probably in the minority here, but I I, I kind of did not appreciate the fact that uh, freaking Thanos with a fully powered Infinity Gauntlet couldn't stop a uh, Stormbreaker, but whatever. I, I knew it was going to happen. Everybody was going to be nerfed down, and, and um, we'll have to see how Carol fares against the Mad Titan in the Avengers sequel, because she is going to uh, appear in that and kick some major... Uh, ass. So with that, all of that said, I am very interested in this movie because of that and the fact that we're getting sort of an adaptation, if you will, not only of her origin, but of the Kree versus Scroll War. I love the Scrolls. They're one of my favorite alien races in comic books. I love the idea that, you know, you've got uh, some really heavy hitters with the Super Scrolls and the Queens and the uh, different... Uh, uh, levels in their um, government kingdom structure, if you will, empire structure, and they are shapeshifters, and they can be really dubious and infiltrate like they did in the uh, Secret Invasion storyline, where they invaded the whole uh, planet Earth and took up residence in different uh, areas, from governments to superheroes to secret agencies, all that stuff. So I love that espionage, secrecy level that uh, the scrolls are involved with. I love that stuff. And it looks like the movie, you know, it won't be an origin story. It will be, uh, it will be set in the 90s. Carol comes back from space to deal with the scrolls. But uh, somehow the Kree are involved as well. I'm not too sure. We did get to see Star Force and other aspects that are pretty freaking interesting. But uh, uh, whatever, let's talk about the images and let's get the negative out of the way. The cover photo. 
I'm not a fan of it at all. And to be perfectly honest with you, I love Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, don't get me wrong, but I think that image could have been 10,000 times better. It was actually quite dull, boring, and obviously um, touched on Photoshop or whatever, you know, photo manipulation and whatnot, because it looked really corny. Uh, you know, you could have had her in sort of this hovering flight pose. Uh, I don't know, the, her expression is very boring. I could have, you know, you could have done sort of like this confident uh, grin. You know, just the composition of the image is a little off to me, and I just find found it bland. But most of the Superhero Entertainment Weekly um, covers are like that, unfortunately. And what we do get are behind the scenes photographs. They're not actual stills of the movie per se, because I think the movie's still in post-production or something like that. I'm, I'm not quite sure as of this video, but it's just behind the scenes photographs. Uh, one of the first photos which I really liked and we're seeing here is uh, of Carol in her Captain Marvel costume, and it looks pretty friggin' fantastic. I wish she had her mohawk, but I think she has to earn that mohawk, but still, she looks great and looks really awesome. And just, uh, it really hits the geek spot to see a new character that you love from the comic books get transported into live action. That is always exciting to me. Second photo, we get to see the Star Force, which is basically this elite Kree space force, if you will. And we see Korath, the Pursuer, as well as Ronan. They're gonna be in there because it's a flashback, the Kree Empire, etc., etc. And you sort of see the origin of uh, Carol's uh, a costume except it's a green and black with gold uh, details on it. Uh, we do see Jude Law and Brie Larson. Obviously Jude Law is supposed to be playing Marvel, uh, the original Captain Marvel, so I'm very interested in seeing how their dynamic works in the movie and how, of course how she gets her powers and all that stuff, how they decide to uh, present that on the big screen. Next up, one of my favorite photographs and the one I geeked out the most, obviously the scrolls. We see four scrolls on the beach. A lot of people were making a fuss about the makeup. Like I said, it's a behind the scenes photograph of production stills or whatever you want to call it. It's not like the actual finished product. I think they look great. If you compare it to the original scroll drawings, it looks like a modernized, uh, contemporary look. Uh, obviously, some people have pointed out that it looks very Star Trek-y. I can sort of see that, but at the same time, it retains the essentials of the scrolls. You know, you've got that uh, green skin with the wrinkled chin, and you've got the pointy ears. I think it looks great. Obviously, uh, the leader of this ragtag group is Talos. He was very infamous in the comic book, so I'm very curious to see if he survives the movie. I, I want to see more scrolls in the future. I have made uh, comments on this YouTube channel that I think the phase four uh, Marvel uh, thing is gonna be scroll heavy. Uh, you know, you're getting this movie with the scrolls and just the fact that they are here on Earth since the 90s, who's to say that they haven't been planning you know, of course, in the plot of the movie, they're going to do a, an invasion. But who's to say they didn't, they don't stay, you know, after the bad guys are beaten or whatever. Uh, I mean, now you're throwing a scroll into the equation. Now I have to ask myself, who do I trust? Who, who's to say that a hero is actually a scroll in disguise? We don't know that. I think it would be an amazing twist, similar to... Uh, uh, Brian Michael Bendis' uh, Secret Invasion storyline, where you find out that Elektra, spoilers, was actually a scroll in disguise. It could happen, man. It, it, not necessarily with Elektra, but you know what I mean. It could happen, some sort of variation, some sort of uh, version of that story. And that is really exciting. Plus, now you've got the Fantastic Four with the Fox purchase. They can interact with the scrolls. You can do so many cool things with the Super Scrolls. I'm just floored with excitement. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but uh, you do get to see Talos uh, in his human form infiltrating a shield. Plus, some familiar faces you get to see 
uh, Ronan the Accuser, which I love Ronan. He's such a badass in the comic books. I was a little disappointed that we basically got this uh, crazy ass Zealot version in the Guardians movie. But really poor character development. Hopefully in this movie, we get that backstory. I love the idea that we get a revisit of old characters. Nice little Easter egg right there with the Nine Inch uh, Nails um, t-shirt. And she looks the part. I think this is one of the better photographs that was uh, released. I really dig it. I love the idea of de-aging a character. We saw that with Robert Downey Jr. in uh, Captain America Civil War, if I'm not mistaken. And it looked a little weird. It was cool, but a little bit weird. Here, it looks uh, much better. I am really excited to see uh, Sam, uh, 90s Sam Jackson. Uh, that's actually pretty cool that they're going, uh, they're, they're gonna show us her uh, origin, or at least in some shape or form, with her past as an Air Force pilot. And of course, we're seeing Maria Rambo, which I think she's the uh, mother of Monica later becomes a Captain Marvel herself. So it's pretty cool. It's a nice Easter egg to spot in these photographs. So yeah, that's sort of my ramblings, I guess, on the Captain Marvel um, Entertainment Weekly reveal. Hopefully we do get to see a teaser soon. I'm thinking by Christmas or something like that. I don't know. The movie's coming out in March, April, something somewhere in spring. So I'm very interested in seeing how the movie ends up looking, you know, because like I mentioned, this, uh, these are just stills, photographs, not actual film frames and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. What do you guys think about the Captain Marvel stills, all these photographs and information, the whole idea, the plot of it all? Uh, let me know down below. I'm very curious uh, to know what you guys think. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing this content. Thank you, it really means the world to me. You are the best. Find me on your favorite social media platform so we can keep the conversation going and I will catch all of you on our next episode. What do you guys think about the cart cap the blah blah blah? blah.